coming to you live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, having a little internet warning. Oh, my internet's not good enough to find cast gameplay, blah, blah, blah. We'll show them, we'll show them all. It says we're on air, so by God, we're gonna roll with it. Your pale Johnny Six Gun in St. Paul. Playing Undertale, part three. We're gonna finish it, finish this pacifist run, and have a little fun doing it. I've got my uh, red scarf here for, you know, like Sans, why not? Or not Sans, Papyrus, my, my boy, Papyrus. He's born to be bone. Last week, we took it to Metaton and Metaton EX, the wily, wacky game show host TV personality robot. Don't cotton too kind of them robots, so down he or she goes. A lot of he's or she's here. Look at, look at this. We got Sans hanging out up there. Undyne's resting on Papyrus's head. Well, it's, you know, getting ahead in the world. And yeah, just just gonna go for it. We've got got a lot to do here. Oh, and the elevator's in use. We don't want to horse around too much. We want to get down to it. We've got some challenges ahead. We're going to meet up with Asgore. King of the monsters. Maybe he'll let us breach the bear the barrier and return home to the human world. I'm only looking at items here. Ooh. Could probably do well to go back and purchase some items. What do we got in the uh I'll do a quick saver. One to save. I don't want to use that snowman piece. Alright, well, oh, hey, get back here, dog residue. Damned if you residue, damned if you residon't. Alright, we got one dog salad out of the deal. I like those dog sales because they're free. We got some cool music here. A lot of cool music in Undertale. Oh, no sounds that time. I could just go back and purchase some items. That would be our best bet. But I am a cheap bastard. Alright, that, that was just about perfect. Lots of dog salads. Still got instant noodles, butterscotch pie. We'll equip the burnt pan for now. We'll throw that, throw that stick in the box. For Christmas, you're getting stick in the box. All right, this is looking quite familiar. Looks much like Toriel's home. Oh, it's a golden flower. It's a great reading chair. It's it's a place to read. I don't read too much personally. My hands tend to fall asleep. Hard to get comfortable. It's not that I don't enjoy reading. It's just difficult to do. Hey there, Froggit. Oh, we're getting some backstory. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's, that's nice. Thanks for stopping by, Froggit. Mmm, snails. It's kind of the fun bit. Snails come in their own can. And we got a free key. Things are getting a little freaky here on Wacky Wednesday. I almost forgot what day it was. I hope everyone's having a good Wacky Wednesday. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. I think I will take it. Let's see what it's all about. BFF, that's that sounds all right. Let's go ahead and equip that. Let's see, what was the deal with that apron? Ooh, one HP every other turn. That could come in handy, but gonna throw it in the box. You're going into the box, Apron. Oh, we accidentally called Papyrus. That's, that's fine. No response. What's in the other box? Warren Dagger. Sure. Well, we could put that burnt pan into the mystery box, but so long as we have that equipped, our healing items heal for an additional four hit points. Yowza, yowza. Room under res renovation. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. And I hope we could take this key and get away with it. Ah, nice day today. I hope that's what everybody's journal says today. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs, 98. Ooh, 98 was a good year for Nose Nuzzling. Mr. Dad Guy, Major Dad. Unlocked the chain. This is going off the chain. Let's throw another save rue down. All right, and let's let's boogie. Let's get this underway. No promises on beating some of these upcoming bosses. But we'll give it a shot. Then one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. So yeah, they're kind of just dumping a lot of exposition on us at the end, and that's, that's okay. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child.
the humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls we can shatter the barrier forever. not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Let's see what this elevator's all about. Or we could go down-wise. Well, I like the save option. And we'll see where the old elevator goes. Ah, there we go. Nice multi-scrolling here. Very foreboding. Ah. A familiar silhouette. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you? You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. 
But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. There we go. Very foreboding. Little interaction with Sans there. Sans, quite a wacky character, but there's something a little sinister about Sans. Not the fact that he said he would have killed us, if not for some encouragement from Toriel. So, yeah, good thing Sans is on our side. Oh, we got a sign. Throne room. Oh, excellent. Oh, and there's another save. Double excellent. What's down a this away? Ah, it's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Johnny. It's empty. Dear God. Well, that's where we're going to be headed if we botch this one, gang. It's a little, a little spooky. That, that's okay. It's, well, I guess it's not quite October yet. Shocktober. But we're getting pretty close. Oh, a lot of those golden flowers. Beloved by the first human. And a painful reminder of the passing of Azrael, the king's son. Dum-de-dum, oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Yeah, Asgore, looking a little Toriel-esque. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Throw another saver down. Anytime we can cut out some dialogue when I have to redo the fight. That might be... Oh, there's a... Hey, it's a throne. Oh, it's another throne. Covered by a white sheet. Must have been Toriel's. Alright. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. I don't mind the dentist that much. I think I'd feel... Oh, another save. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Let's keep using all these saves. Why not? Oh, it's a cool little effect. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. No going back. 
I see. This is it, then. This could be a toughie, gang. Ready? Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh my god. Ooh, no mercy. Asgore attacks. Let's, let's chat him up a little. I don't want to fight him. Ooh. Taking the damage already. Not good. I don't want to fight. Alright, down to one HP already. That's that's not so good. Let's have a pie. The butterscotch pie, which Toriel made for us. Our HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Attack down, defense down. Oh my god. Let's try talking one more time. Stop fighting. There we go. Now, now we're ready to begin the battle. All right, we've got some uh, somebody joining in. Oh, oh, they've already gone. This is our first time seeing the battle meter. Get that sweet spot. All right. Oh, I can't remember which is stand still and which is move. That could bite me in the ass. Let's have a dog salad. It's like a dog's dinner. Hmm. There we go. It's literally garbage. Your HP was maxed out. Jesus Christ. Even with all my little tricks, it's gonna take a... a lot more cunning than old Johnny has. We got some thunder and lightning. All right, blue standstill orange move. Yeah, we got a bit of a thunderstorm situation happening in the city of mystery and romance tonight. That's pretty exciting. Somewhat appropriate for current game, current situation. All right, we want that spot right in the middle. That's that's the sweet spot. Chong Lee's sweet in the gut. I like that swirly thing. I can actually dodge that. Yeah, I like that one also. We got about half of his HP down. That's good news. 
think we can get away with one more, and then we'll do some more healing, perhaps. Whoa, the Squiggler. The Jello Jigglers. Have another dog salad. Oh, fried tennis ball. That was an easy one. I like the easy ones. I like taking it easy in the middle of the week. Ah, oh, nuts. Let's try one more, then we'll do another heal. Do a quick heal turn. Well, we don't want to do that. Instant noodles. Takes too long to eat. Ah, fried tennis ball. My favorite. Go for it. Could have been a greedy and stupid move. Oh, I'm bad at this one. But the game is kind. Oh, they're even better dry. Excellent. Alright, didn't do too badly there. We did a number on old Asgore here. Oh. So that is how it is. Maybe we'll try doing like an Eeyore. Well, I remember the day after my son. No, oh, not appropriate. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. We've seen her. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Have mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Uh-oh. I didn't do that. Oh my god. Hey, it's our old pal Flowey. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing in this world. 
It's kill or be killed. <laughs> love that laugh. Don't love that flowey though. He's a, he's a bit of a bastard. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Something's not quite right here. Ooh, Flowey. Oh my god. I think, let's, let's continue. What the hell's going on here? Up we go. Hey, it's a save point. Oh, it's the end. Oh my god. File erased. Oh, Flowey, you scum. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the Flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. Feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, Everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone. <laughs> Forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. All right, let's take it to Flowey. No problem. Ooh. Any minor problem. Might need a little sip for this one. Oh, hi, Flowey. Oh. Oh, my God. Alright, let's uh let's try dodging some of these attacks here. Oh, oh, not not gonna cut it there. Eee, ooh. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. <laughs> this is this is really cool. Be something wrong with the game, perhaps, or maybe they're just having a little fun at our expense. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? Come on, Flowey. Enough horsing around. 
Let's see if we can do a better job of dodging this time. As you can see, we're no longer constrained to the box. We're free to roam the play field. We're playing the field. Oh, toasted. That's all right, we've uh, taken out two HP of Flowey's health. This is a bad dream. And we're never waking up. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Pathetic. Now you're really gonna die. Alright, let's let's try harder. He's really full of himself here. Made it to the blue soul. Ooh. Help. This is cool. All the uh, weapons that the souls attack you with. Oh, little health. I like health. Band aid and the knife. Those are the first weapons, the toy knife. What does he start the game with? All the weapons the souls attack you with. Are the items dropped by the previous children who had visited the underworld? Oh my god. Warning, warning. Orange soul approaching. Oh yes, yeah, the glove for the filthy mitten. I've been smitten. Help. Oh, didn't quite get enough health there. That's fine. Blue soul approaching. Ah, the ballet slippers. Maybe a dirty tutu will come to help us out. Oh. Let's run for it. Help. Help. That's about as good as we could have done. I have to believe that face on the screen up there. Probably Toby Fox, fellow who made a lot of this game. Very high majority of it. On his own. Good, good on you, Toby. Hope that Delta Room, the sort of sequel to this, is coming along well. Oh! Warning, purple soul approaching. Help. 
please help. Oh, not, not enough help. Oh. Warning, green soul approaching. Ah, it's that burnt frying pan. Which we've got in our inventory right now. Ooh, taking a thump in here. Well, that was kind of them. They could have dropped it right off screen, and it would have been within their right. Ooh. I cannot eat them. Sam I am. I will not eat those green eggs and ham. Ah, oh, that's one hungry Venus fly trap. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. And something else. Warning. Yellow soul approaching. Ah, the toy gun. We didn't purchase the toy gun from the silly cat girl and the silly alligator girl. Please help. Ah. There we go, the old lucky shot. And there we've Enlisted help from the souls of the six fallen children before us. Hey, there we go. Thanks, guys. Very cinematic battle. Flowey's death dropped hard. I'm getting hit pretty hard. Oh. Doing great. Sometimes good enough is good enough. I don't think this is really good enough, though. We'll keep poking away. And hey there, Ralsey. Trying not to ignore you, but trying to keep at least one eye on this goofy flowey here. He's a bit of a troublemaker. I do hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. There we go. He dropped the bomb on us. The Gap Band. There we go. We have gotten the adhesive bandage. Not the Band-Aid, we don't want a no Band-Aid brand, we just have the Adhesive Bandage. And who can afford Band-Aid brand this day and age? Use a little more of that Hope, though. Thank you, Hope. Ooh, green eggs and ham. Would not eat them with the fox, with Toby Fox. Would not eat them in a box. Hey, down you go, Flowey. No, no, this can't be happening. You, you. You idiot. Oh, flowy, dirty pool, old man. Oh, death, 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 Pretty harsh. Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world, and you... You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You are worthless, friends. Can't save you now.
Call for help, I dare ya. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. Yeah, let's, let's make a call. 1-800-COLLECT or 1-800-CALL-ATT. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. <laughs> oh, you're kind of a dick, Flowey. Hey, there we go. Huh? What? How would you... Well, I'll just... Ah, oh, load failed. Hmm. Uh, where are my powers? Oh, hey there, souls. The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop, stop it! Thank you, souls. And sorry, Flowey. Oh, but in the end, I do pity poor Flowey. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. Oh, we'll try it my way, Flowey. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll come back as a better person, maybe. I'll kill you. No. Please don't. I'll kill everyone. You don't have to. I'll kill everyone you love. Oh, you could learn to love them too, Flowey. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Why not? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. So long, Flowey. Well, there we go. Adios, Flowey. Thank you, Toby Fox. Temmy. And we got the credits here. Folks have worked on the game. Thanks, everybody. See, as, as you can see, even Toby Fox can do this on his own. A lot of help from his friends. Ah, uh, Braddy and Caddy. Hey, special thanks. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Oh. Hello. Hey, uh, Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. Why, thank you, Sans. So, it's, uh, been a while. The Queen returned, and, uh, it's now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, 
The queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. We're not giving up down here. Don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take. We'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Yeah, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find us a way out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing. I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Ugh. Please don't nuggie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, Royal Guard, Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh... Only one member now, but he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nuggie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys, lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah. I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's new school. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he. Ah, oh, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can't... But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey. Wherever you are. I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are. You have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Heh, she says she's busy. What if she knew who we were talking to? We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. Heh, we have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries, so... Hate to cut this short, but be seeing ya, okay, buddy? Bye bye for now. See ya, punk. Oh, there we go. That's it, folks. Oh, Flowey. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? 
Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Ah, quite ominous. And there we go. We're going to take a quick five and see what the heck Flowey's talking about. Back in a jiffy.
Hey there, imposter. I never did fight Sans. Still gotta do that run. But, before we get into that, we're back live from the city of mystery and romance, your pal, Johnny Six Gun. Just winding down on the pacifist run, or are we? Flowey, murdered King Asgore. And with the power of love, we spared Flowey's life. Left the underworld and got a bittersweet phone call from our friends, but something was alluded to. We could go back and perhaps visit Dr. Alphys and maybe change things. So let's do it. Let's head back to the lab. What, what's cooking at the lab? And we'll take this handy dandy elevator. It goes side to side. And down we go. Elevator, elevator. It goes up and down. There we are, back at the core. And we've got all of our items back. That's that's kind of nice. There we go. A lot of shortcuts. The world of Undertale isn't that large, thankfully. Oh, hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This is your idea. Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm in Snowden in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk! Click. Well, there we go. Let's, uh, make a quick detour over to Snowden. Oh, we don't want to take the spooky route. Hey, Lion Man. Metaton looked really, really cool in that dress. It sort of makes me feel like I could wear one, too. You can do it, Lion Man. You can wear that dress. Hey there, Muffet. There you are, dearie. You're always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior, vehehehe. <laughs> ho ho, ooh. I like those. Spider web effects in the back. Pretty cool. I have to I have to imagine there's a shortcut I could have taken. But maybe this is the quickest route. I I I ended up buying a donut. I I I didn't want to, but that girl, even though, though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. Now I'm out of cash. Well, those donuts will set you back. Oops. Let's take that elevator. Left floor one. I believe that'll get us to our shortcut. We'll throw a quick save down. Tra la la, care for a ride. Let's ride in the boat. Let's go to Waterfall first. We, we purchased a mystery key that we haven't taken advantage of yet. Play with our hair. Because it's fun to do. Tra la la, why don't you sing with me? Tra la la, sing along at home, children. 
Maybe we'll even run into our old pale naps to Blook. Tra la la. Yeah, home naps to Blook. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. You do that, naps to Blook. It's locked. Maybe it was well, dimensional box A. Ah, mystery key. I'll throw the burnt pan into mystery box B. Oh, it's locked. Let's try that mystery key. You used the mystery key. The Red House's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Well, there we go. Oh, it's a nice pink house. What do we got on the TV? Can I even get past these well-placed books? Well, let's read them. Dear Diary, Sharon's sister fell down recently. It's sad, without her sister to speak for her. She's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blukey, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Dearer Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey, you know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for, anyway. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. She's kind of funny, too. Want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Well, maybe Blukey's got something to say about all this. Uh, I'm just gonna keep working on that mix CD. Well, there we go. So that mysterious house... Belongs to somebody we may have met already, but... Need a... A few more clues to put two and two together. Let's head over to Snowden. And we're off. Tra la la. Tra la la. The water is very wet today. Tra la la. Home again sometime. Tra la la. All right. Let's go ahead and hop in the shortcut. Might have been quicker to just walk over to Sands' place. 
It was about equidistant. It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person that's not me. Hey, I have something to give you. You're caring way too much. Ah, oh, touche. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. We got the Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Hey, you're the best, Undyne. Hello, that's not my house. That's just my cool tool shed. Let's all just take a cool tool. Do you call it your cool shed? No, I've never thought of that. That's why we're friends, Undyne. You enrich my life with shed-based puns. It's the only one I've ever made, dude. Let's go deliver this letter. After we wander past the library. To Hotland, kind sir or ma'am. Hum, 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 I'm having a little concert. Come again sometime, tra-la-la. The door has no mail slot, slide the letter under. Slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't just slide it back out. No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this... And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Hold on a second. Dating start? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Hey, cool po polka dot dress there, Alphys. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Uh, hey, hey, wait. Actually, uh, we still can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. Um, I've got to give you time to raise your affection statistic first. I, that'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, uh, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, 
I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's, let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Date's not going well. Better than most of my dates. Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Ooh, a classy decision. Here we are. This is where Hundine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really... Uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let you see me with you on a date. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Ah, oh, Undine's all punked out tonight. Very cool. Hey! There you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Urgh. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh, Undyne. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people? I'm sorry. I, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Gotta tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> uh, no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. I'll get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? truth. I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, let's role play. Role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay. Which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? Oh, boy. Now let's go with... You're cute. <laughs> Thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> huh. Huh. So I'd like to um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. 
You see, I... Oh, forget it. Undyne, I... I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. Uh oh, what did you just say? <laughs> Undyne, I was uh, just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything? Really, I just used to make ice cream and those human history books I keep reading. Those, those are just dorky comic books and the history movies. Those are just uh, anime. They aren't really... And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt. And that time Alphys... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Hey, Alphys. Undyne, I... I really think you're neat, okay? Hey, Alphys. Boring? Right in the trash. You got trash dunked. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. You've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want you to... I want to help you become happy with who you are. I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> Undyne, you, you're gonna train me? <laughs> what, me? Hello. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Come on, Jog Boy. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. I'll do my best. There we go. 100 laps should do the trick. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is real. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses. Here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. There we go. Fun date in the dump. Now nobody's down in the dumps. And we're all saved up in the trash zone. Oh, howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Ah, uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. 
I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Why, thank you for the call, Papyrus. Always appreciated. So let's do it. Let's head back over to Hotland. Tra-la-la, -la, care for a ride. Let's ride in the boat. The boat to Hotland. Ah, the piano plays the tinkling song. Ooh, tinkling. The tinkler. Henry Tinkler plays the pawns. Let's see what's going on in the lab. Yeah, we're on the big screen. What's in the trash? I know what you did. Ah, oh, that's foreboding. Ah, oh, it's a note from Alphys. Let's let's take a quick read. Oh, it's hard to read because of the handwriting, but we'll do our best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. For that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Well, there we go. Let's go in the mystery door. Can't be all that bad, Alphys. Warning. Warning. Elevator losing power. M tether. Stability lost. Altitude dropping. Let's see where we are. We got some more lab going on. It's a little dingier. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. What have you been up to, Alphys? The true laboratory. 
Oh, there's a note on the ground. Can't make it out at all. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. Oh, alright. Sounds reasonable. Power room. Oh, no power at the power room. Buy chips for 25G. Of course. Chisps. Ah, potato chisps. My favorite. Papato chisps. Heals 13 HP. Regular old papato chisps. That sounds good to me. Did I read that monitor? Ah, yes. The power room. Where I become powerful. Entry number six. Esgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get their souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh, it's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ew. The sticky icky. Oh, we turned on the sink. We turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Oh, it's a gooey sink. Oh my god. Oh. What the hell are these guys? Something wrong with these monsters. Come join the fun. I'd prefer not to. But nobody came. I think I refuse. Oh well, it's a real get-together. There we go. Ah, a red key. Ah, good old dog salad. Ah, there's a note on the ground. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. That's nice. I suppose I... Probably didn't even have to use that dog salad. Probably could have gone back to the save. Got my HP back for free. It was a free dog salad. It's a three dog night. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, we got some nice beds here. We got the dog dish, some plants. It's a fake plant. Well, it's real to me. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. 
They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Let's, let's have a little snooze, perhaps. Well, if it's comfortable, there's no reason not to lie on it. What could possibly go wrong? And we'll just relax in bed. Oh my god. It's a bed. It's a bed. Oh, there's something under the sheets. Let's check it out. It's a yellow key. Excellent. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden. I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Oh, there we go. All's well that ends well. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh, God. What is going on in this lab? Oh, that doesn't look good. It actually looks a lot like... Oh, what is going on up here? Just a wiggly worm. Nothing to fear. Hey, there's a green key in the bathtub. Oh, no worries about wiggly worms. Yeah, this looks an awful lot like Flowey's second form. Oh my god, that's not a save point at all. That's a full-grown man. Smells like sweet lemons. Welcome to my special hell. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lemon Bread liked that little tune. Oh, we got some candy corn teeth. Ooh. Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah, pretty ugly. Oh! Maybe we'll try flexing. I've felt this before. Have mercy. Alright, let's see if we can get back to the save. So Alphys has been up to some pretty... Pretty wild shit down here. Resurrecting monsters. Shambling upon the earth as hideous mutations no longer resolve, resembling what they once were under sheets. Oh, we found the yellow key under the sheets. Perfect. Oh, good old VHS. This must be where Alphys watches the really good stuff. Sticky ones. Yeah, let, let's watch one. Gory, wake up! Hmm? What is it, dear? Hmm, why do you have that video camera? Shush! 
want to get your reaction. Glory, dearest. What is it, my favorite vegetable? I'm mixing up voices here. Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 no. My favorite vegetable is Edda Mom E. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momeranian. Whoa. -ho -ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You, you know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. There we go, home movies. From Asgore, tutorial, entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and I found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore has watched them. I don't think he should. Maybe we'll try a couple more. Okay, Johnny, are you ready? Hey, I'm Johnny. Do your creepy face. Oh, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Uh huh. Yeah, good one, guys. Howdy, Johnny. Smile for the camera. Ah, this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Wah, wah. Remember when we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Oh. Tape number four. I... I don't like this idea, Johnny. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Johnny. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Tape number five. Johnny, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Johnny, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Johnny, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Oh, so yeah, there's some uh, family movies there. DT, Extraction Machine. Status, Inactive. DT Determination. Ooh. A little mystical in here. Oh, there's a note on the ground. Curtain. It's curtains for you. And eh, we've gone behind the curtain to get the green key. Yeah, 
Yeah, nothing too freaky in the fog room. And what was up here again? Was this the yellow key? Yeah. Yeah. But what about this room? Ah, oh, behind the curtain. We've got this lab all figured out. Let's go hit that save again. Maybe we'll take another quick snooze. As they say, you snooze, you can't lose. Let's see if Mr. Ghosty does anything about... Oh my god. I really hope that's his arm. Ooh. Oh. Thank you, Ghosty. How terrifying and kind of you. And let's let's proceed. We saved. You can never save enough. Oh, we got some nice flowers here. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. Doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Oh. Oh. Good lord. Let's, let's pray. Oh, it seems okay. So far. Oh my god. Mystify. Oh, now we're in trouble. Oh, I actually got hit. No mercy quite yet. Yeah, let's pick on it. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Courage. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's weird. Ah, mercy. Mercy me. Oh, no key for our trouble. Cold. Alright, so look, look for something chilly. We're getting pretty close. I think that's the only other key that we need. Gone to the right yet. Ah, oh, looks cold in here. Entry number 11. Now that Metatons made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Ew. Let's cool it down.
All these monsters, very flowy-ish. Ugh. There's no escaping. It's the amalgamate. Ew. Come over here, amalgamate. Who is a good amalgamate? Ugh. A witch orifice. Ew, creepy and weird. Let's give him a pat. Who's a good amalgamate? Who's a little guy? Oh, bzzz. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh, he's a speedy little fella. Oh, bad dog. Let's play. Proudly? Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. I really like how creepy Undertale gets here. It's pretty cool. Not, not very expected. Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. Well, looks like we can't quite spare it yet. We'll give it another pet. Stage one happiness froth. Here comes the happiness froth. Oh, that was a close. That was a close one. Try beckoning again. Ugh, the feelers rotate quickly. Ew. There we go, I can do this one. No mercy yet. Let's try playing again. Don't seem like I like to play. Too tired to play. Ugh. It's gonna kill me. Don't kill me, dog. Let's have a dog salad. Oh, not yet. We could try to ignore it, I suppose. Pet it again. Ah, there we go. That's doing the little optical illusion thing. All the legs have become little dogs. It's pretty cool. And Dogeny is contented. Did the cold room. We got a blue key in here anywhere. Oh, I bet the key shows up in the dog dish. I was kind of wondering what the deal with the dish was. I have done the full pacifist run once, but it was a year or two ago. I don't have the... Uh, World's greatest memory or anything. Maybe I... We'll do the bed thing again. See if the mon, the spooky ghost shows up. Suppose I could cheat. Check the old laptop, which is right here.
Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Go back to the mist room. I had a feeling that we missed something in there. Let's go check it out. Now that the vents are activated, should be a little less misty in there. Oh, a bunch of frigimators. Ooh, that one's a shaken. Let's check out some of these logs. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Ah, oh, it's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. I'll leave Shaker there. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Ah, it's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Oh, good trick. It's so cold. Give it a joke. You told a bad pun about Snow. Her expression starts to shift. I remember. Okay, I like that. It's so cold. How cold is it? Thank you. I'll keep joking. Oh, well, that worked out well enough. Better than could have been expected. And there's the green door. Let's check out that shaken fridge. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. And it's shaken like a Polaroid picture. For people who do not remember Polaroid pictures, Polaroid was a type of instant camera before digital cameras. If you don't know what a digital camera is, it's like a telephone. Only you could only take pictures with it. You couldn't call people. For people that don't know what calling people from a phone is, that's what a phone used to be for, not texting or Instagram. All right. So Elphys has done some pretty weird shit down here. Oh, I forgot to put the blue key in the slot. That, that could have helped. There's still some question marks. All these mounts, monsters. Zembra resembling Flowey. Bunch of golden flowers down here. Something is... something's amiss. Old video game trope, usually when you see a reflection in a series of mirrors. One of the reflections would not be your own and you'd be attacked. So it was fun when the little exclamation point attacked us. It was a good one, guys. Ah, seems like another elevator. And it's lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Hey, Sans. How we doing tonight? Hopefully you got some good puns for us here during our pacifist run. We're, we're winding it down. We're learning some dark truths about Alphys. But I'm sure someone with that handle, you already know what's going down here in the secret lab. 
Ah, it seems like the control this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Why, of course. Let's let's activate the power. Oh, God. More of these treacherous souls. Hey, stop. Oh, hey, Alphys. Got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. In the bathroom. Bathroom's a good place to be. If you're an American in the kitchen, what are you in the bathroom? European. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smell the potato chips on you. And, uh, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I'd be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters, bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Oh, hey, guys. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. That's kind of nice. Let's, let's all go home. Oh. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Ah, oh, it's the telephone. Perhaps I should answer it. Oh, that's a voice we've never heard before. Johnny, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Johnny. See you soon. Well, that's not ominous at all. 
So it seems Alphys and her bizarre experiments seem to be the cause of Flowey. The determination machine, the bizarre resurrected creatures. Who is Flowey? What is he up to? We know he's got some sort of grudge against the king. Something's not quite right, and I suspect we'll find out right quick. There is the throne room. Just for kicks, we'll check out the coffin room again. Oh, there's a name. Oh, it's my name. How terrifying. Dig your own grave and save. Once again, through the throne room. Alright. Oh, hello, Asgore. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance, you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I choose to continue. I see. This is it, then. Come on, Asgore, be a pal. We don't need to do this. You don't need that seventh soul. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Huh? Hey, that's not how it went last time. Oh, hey, Toriel. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have had to take the life of another person. You would have... You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans and come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Yeah, he got goat splained there. Tori, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? Uh, no, Asgore. Oh, hey, Undyne. Ah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... 
Oh, hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Oh, the whole gang's winding up here. That's kind of nice. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Oh, hey, Alphys. Hey. Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Torio. Hello. Uh, hi? There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst, hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Oh, hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello? I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. <laughs> the name Sans. And the uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh. My. God. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. Hmm? Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back. Oh my god, it's gonna get a little sexy. Oh, wait. Not in front of the human. Damn. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. All sorts of nice friends we've made on our little journey. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I get you... If I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A uh, tiny flower? Oh, dear. Well, this is going very poorly. You idiots. Oh, you guys are having your little powwow. I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friends' souls are gonna be mine, too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is. It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. 
Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it, over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. Hello. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Ah, oh, not too much room to move here. Even if it means killing you one million times. Ow! Flowey, you dick. Alright, having a little trouble dodging this here. Oh, there we go. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. You got past me. You can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. There we go. Th thanks for the assist, team. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh, it's all the friendly monsters. Ah, uh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. And who do we have here? Looks like a sad little kid. Kid being a young goat. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Johnny, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azrael Dreamer. Azrael resurrected into Flowey has returned. It's the end. Let's let's hope. Hope for the best. Expect the worst. Oh, lucky doing some dodging there. Let's dream. Ooh, all the stars are out tonight. 
Oh, and we've died. Ugh. Eee. Not quite sure what happens there. Ah, but it refused. But the future refused to change. Let's try hoping again. I like to hope. No, not the stars again. Try to watch the little stars, ignore the big guys. Ah, Shocker Breaker. He's the Shock Master. What do we got in the items category? Oh, Last Dream. That sounds pretty good. We really don't want to fight Azrael. Dream. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Let's see what this last dream is about. Ah, there we go. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Alright, let's see what's going on there. Ah, so he's announcing his next attack. Easy Street. We'll get another helpful health item. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. Then we can do everything all over again. That was all right. Ah, oh, Chaos Buster. You know what the best part of all this is? He'll do it. Oh, don't die. Oh, I'm an idiot. And as they say, stupidity hurts. Just keep on hoping. That's much better. I love a nice dog salad. Just, just because it's delicious. Oh, it tastes yappy. And then you'll lose to me again. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. And again. Joker brand, I get a grin. Again and again. Oh, don't I, dumbass. Alright, there we go. Way to go, dumbass. Ah, the dream came true. And again. His attacks are starting to get a little more erratic. Ah, uh, Galacta... Galacta Blazing. That doesn't sound so good. We better... We better hope. 
Hey there, Alejandro. How we doing tonight? Hope we're doing well. Nah. Try to get through Azrael here. Maybe we'll enjoy a happy ending in this pacifist run here. Ah, the Chaos Slicer. I hope I don't get sliced in twain because of love your friends. Oh, good one, Azrael. We'll have another, another dream. Because you never give up. Ah, nutsack. That's a thing. I don't think you can really lose on this battle, but it just takes longer if you fail. That's okay. Failure's okay if you learn something, I guess. You're failing at a video game, that's hardly the end of the world. dream came true. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Ah, oh my god. Let's not be sucked in with the timeline. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Ooh, he's looking pretty tough. Alright, so we can do nothing but struggle. Can't even select an item. Ha <laughs> behold my true power. Oh, first hit. Oh, no sweat. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your, friggin your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. This guy's really pissed off. The whole world is ending. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in the next life. Ah, nuts. That's all right. Determination. Struggle. Ooh, 
Well, just keep on struggling. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Well, let's let's just save people in the order we met them. That might be kind of nice. Let's save Toriel. You reached out to Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. Let's give out a hug. You hug the lost soul. Alright, well, let's see if this is doing the trick. I don't know. I don't quite remember how to spare these souls, but we'll get through it together, folks. Let's just try it out. No, not quite yet. We'll figure it out, though. We'll hug everybody. Everyone likes to be hugged. I guess. I really like the uh, electric guitar in this song. I prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon, and slugs to snails. Oh hey guys, your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Oh thanks guys. You feel something faintly resonating with an Azrael. Not yet. Alright, next we ran into the wacky skeleton sands. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Ah, oh, the lost souls appeared. Let's tell a little joke. He told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to love it, but the other lost soul seems to hate it. I must capture a human. Eh, just give up. I did. Ah, nice recipe. Maybe a nice spaghetti recipe. Then everyone will. Eh, why even try? Don't move on the blue, don't move. Oh, bad blue. How about a nice puzzle soul, eh? He really wants to help. You'll never see him again. See here, I can't remember. Did Sans like cross? Oh yeah, I think Jumble is tougher than Crosswords. No, wait! You're my friend. I could never capture you. Eh, I'm rooting for you, kid. You feel something resonating within Azrael. Was on fight. I meant to save. I wanted to save Undyne and Alphys. The lost soul appeared. 
No, oh, let's let's clash. She feels our fighting spirit. It's familiar somehow. All humans will die. Oh, I forgot about the little blocking game. I like the blocking game. What a fake hit. You are a real enemy. Not quite yet. Ah, I know she knew a little something about a spooky. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. What about Alphys? What about poor old Alphys? Ah, the lost soul appeared in her polka dot dress. Oh, we gotta nerd out. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Of course not. Oh, Metatons. Let's give her a little call. She likes the cell phone. This all seems very familiar. Let's encourage her. Suddenly, she remembers. It's all flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me. I like you, too. There we go. Thanks, gang. You feel your friends' souls resonating with an Azrael. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, Something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Go. The first human has fallen, and little Azrael is there to pick him up. They are able to have fun picking flowers, spending time with Toriel and Asgore. Let's save Azrael Dreamer. What? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No. No, I don't need anyone. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. He's kind of sputtering out there. Johnny, do you know why I'm doing this? I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Johnny. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. Oh, and Azrael's bumming big time. No, that's not just it. I am doing this because I care about you, Johnny. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again.
so please stop doing this. Just let me win. He's really socking it to me there. Stop it. Stop it now! I'm getting pretty low on health there. No need for those items, though. Johnny. I'm so alone, Johnny. I'm so afraid, Johnny. Johnny, I... I... And he's just a lonely and frightened kid at the end of the day. I'm so sorry. <coughs> I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Johnny? I know. You're not actually Johnny, are you? Johnny's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sands, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's... No excuse for what I've done. Gotta forgive him, guys. What? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. There you go, freedom for monsters. I can get behind that. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Well, let's comfort him. Come on, why not? We've gone this far. It'll be all right, dead little goat boy. Huh. 
I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, hey, gang. Oh, you're awake, thank goodness. We were so worried. Felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yep, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. Oh, what did you catch? Tears. No, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what? I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. Now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. Seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Hey, Frisk. What's with all that weird expression? Sands, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked to call me mother? Oh boy! Wow, Frisk. This really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey, Tori, you got any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever. I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It's hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. Hello, Frisk. Alphys upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori, that's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned, and also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You sure? You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ha 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 ha! Wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her. And why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? 
And what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. Here, here. Heh, <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Uh... What's an... Anime? Oh my god. Frisk, please, help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. Oh, so it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where where can I see the anime? Uh, hold on. Uh, I think I have some on my phone here. Look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the that's the wrong. Oh, never mind. Golly, are those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it sure is. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. There we go. Nice to have a chit-chat with the gang. But before we depart, maybe we'll explore the world a little bit. We'll get the most out of this pacifist run ending. We'll check out those spooky coffins again. So, all the coffins are opened, the souls are freed. And we are free to embark on one last journey through the underworld. We'll, we'll see who we run into. Might be some other old friends. Certainly take advantage of the side of Vader again. We'll wander on through the core. And it should be popping out by the resort pretty quickly. We'll see who's hanging out at the old resort, the MTT Resort. Hey, we have any rooms available? Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time, or ever again. What about the restaurant? Any tables open? Blub blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Touche. So, if we're leaving, well, my job, uh, I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple has its core. <laughs> the surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Oh, 
Oh, we're all free? No. I guess I can stop licking this ficus. I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. That's, that's fine. Two forever, lick the ficus. Not the worst thing in the world. And Metaton's looking a little happier there. Sorry, the resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. Now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Of course you are a slime. Come on, folks, time to go. Room, ser room service never came. Uh. Oh, and the poor janitor is still busy at work. Trying to finish up work. Keep on keeping on, man. Well, let's see how old Caddy and Braddy are up to. How are they enjoying this newfound freedom? Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, nothing worth... Let's see how the freedom thing is treating So, we're like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free. Like, cool, yeah, like cool. Like millennia of being in prison finally over. Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Hey guys, I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's, like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no, we've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? What do you guys have going for the future? Hmm, now that we're gonna be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy, but bratty. I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy! Uh, do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're, like, so tasty, so cute. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day, there was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy. Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. Well, there we go. They're very excited about dogs, cats, the future. In general, how about this note? Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. No, thank you. I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think I'll be really popular. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and the peace. He seems happy. That's that's good. Oh, it's our little uh, flame man, red hot flame man. What? You want a rematch? No, no, that's fine. And 
we'll see if we can master the puzzle here. I think we did it. All right, gang. Hooray! Service World will have so many new friends to help. Well, that's a can-do attitude. And who wouldn't want a little volcano friend? So long, Opera House. Oh, the Lion Man finally got that dress. Metaton, he recognized my voice from when I called in, and he he gave me his dress. I'm so... <laughs> He's loving it. Oh, let's see if Muffet's still hanging around. Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. We'll also be able to afford four pairs of stylish heels for every spider. There we go. Spiders like to wear shoes, and they really go through them. I always liked Squitter the Spider from Donkey Kong Country 2. Fun animal helper who wears four pairs of tennis shoes. Oh, Hotland. What a steamy place. I dream of steamy. Ah, oh, hello, Donut Man. On the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. I don't know if I saw a tarantula walking down the street, balancing a donut on its back. I might take the donut and replace it with a two-dollar bill. That might that might make the tarantula happy. I don't know that I've ever wandered into the lab after the fact. I wonder if we can go down, down in the lab too. Nope, that's, that's not open to us, that's fine. So long, cube bed. And there's no real need to take the ferry. We'll say hello at the very least. Tra la la, care for a ride? No, thank you. Oh, Touche, ferryman. Oh, k k k k k. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. I'll take a cup of water. Why, thank you. Oh, cup of water, return to the water cooler, even though it was free, to do as it wanted. Welcome to Hotland, everyone. And without the enemy encounters, you can see how, how short the game is. Not too many maps. Geh, yeah? who are you? Freedom? What? Bah! You're pulling my leg. Yeah, he's kind of a grump. Nuts to you, grumpo. It's okay to be a grump. Yeah, I really love this ending music. And all the music in Undertale, in general.
Let's see what's going on in the Temi village. I wonder if they're going to say hoy to us. If I can remember how to find the Temi village somewhere around here. I think. Oh, maybe we'll take that path. Or is that where I came from? Might be where I came from. Yeah, what's up here? Oh, it's the flowers. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do that from time to time. I get lost pretty easily. That's fine. It's fun to explore places multiple times. And we'll just keep on keeping on here. No worries. Maybe this is where the Temi village was. Let's go check it out. Let's see what those little rascals are up to. Surely they'll be excited to hit the surface. Hi, welcome to Tem Village. Whoa, Tam here news, very good. Whoa, Tam here news, very good. Yeah, yeah, Tams can go free. A pleasing development, no? Very much so. Whoa, if Tams can go on surface, can see lots of cute humans. Everyone should go free, but Tam. Tam not leave, Tam watch egg. Tim will happily family. Oh, it's hard boiled and heartbreaking. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Good for you, dancing mushroom. Hives. Ah, she's waiting for someone to let her out. Someone let that Tammy out. Who let the dogs out? Hi, welcome to the Tam shop. Oh, I don't want to buy, I want to talk. Ugh, I don't really want to talk. These Tammies are annoying. Hoy! I'm Tammy! Yes, yes you do, Tammies. Oh, don't have quite enough cash. Uh, send those Tammies to college. That's that's unfortunate. Well, maybe I could sell some stuff. Might be nice to get these goofballs into a good school. They could use some education. Whoa! You got the pies. Hmm, I gotta have that pie, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm, Tim always wanted pies. Yeah, yeah, you buy that pies. I'd like to pay for your college. Whoa, that's a lot of months. Can Tim really accept? Okay, Tim goes to college to make you proud. And the Tam went to college. Tam back from Kulig. Tam learned many things. You're going to sell new item. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how you get the Temmy armor, maybe. Oh, can't quite afford that right now. Makes battles too easy. Kind of a skin flint Temmy. I, I suppose the Temmy learned. About economics, don't give away the Tammy armor for free. So long, Tammies. Maybe we'll catch you on the surface. Hopefully not. 
let's head on back to Waterfall. See our good friends, Mr. Turtle, Napstablook, and the old snail race game. Hey, Mr. Turtle. Yeah, I knew you could do it. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was a monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, fluffy buns. <coughs> The audience burst into laughter, realizing what she had said. She started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned toward the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. Hey, Mr. Turtle, is Asgore a goat? Eh, goat? Actually, that reminds me, Toriel once wore a flower pattern moo moo. Folks kept saying nice moo moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child's a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. What about Asgore and Toriel? Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen. Asgore's king. It's tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two are really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public. Embarrassing their children. They're so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days were over. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. She is younger, Hundine would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she even try to help. But most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be a mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciate it. <laughs> so long, Mr. Turtle. You be well. Wherever you wind up. Oh, hello, snails. Oh, it's a snail. Snail, snail, you've reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail, snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. The housing market will probably crash now, but you know, home is where the heart is. Using its money, the snail bought a hat. Well done, snail. What about you goofy racing snails? Race on up to the surface, guys. Get some sunlight. Ah, oh, and there's Metaton. So, as we figured from the diaries we read and heading down to the laboratory, the spook that used to live ne next to Napstabook was turned into Metaton, realizing her dreams, becoming a great entertainer. Hey, there you are, Frisk darling. Feast your eyes, Dr. Elf has completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, and did you hear the barriers open? 
I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So, I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Blue... Naps to Blue here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together it really feels overdue, doesn't it? There you go, Metaton. I hope you get your fame up on the surface. How's it going, Naps to Blue? Oh, Metaton. I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Uh, seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home, listening to tunes. There was a flashlight outside my window. Saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. Flashlight wanted to come in. And I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk? Okay, I won't forget it. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget, because I cried the letters into my hand. Frisk, darling, can you help me with something? What kind of merchandise do you think humans would want to buy? I've thought of a few ideas so far. Buttons with my face, stickers with my face, CDs with my face. Posters with my face, t-shirts with my face, underwear with my face, and plush dolls of Torio. But you know, with my face instead of hers. So, what do you think? A yes or no prompt was not provided. Fabulous, I completely agree. Well, there you go, Metaton. Good luck with the merchandising. See how and Undyne's house is still looking toasty. So you helped us get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to ya. Ah, oh, fuck you for that dummy. Unappro it is just too bad of a fun. Oh, this little bird wants to carry us across. Why thank you, little bird. Well, yeah, we're, we're gonna take the long way around. Thank you, bird, but... Losers take the walk. Through the dump. We're down in the dumps, cause we'll be sad to leave the world of Undertale behind. Who knows, maybe next year we'll try the genocide run. I've never done that run myself. Don't drag your dirty feet in here. I just cleaned this trash. That's kind of nice. You check all the little corners of the world and run into friendly enemies. That's kind of nice. Man, I've never done the genocide run. It could be pretty twisted. That'd be all right. Let's see if that sequel, semi-sequel thing, Delta Rune, ever gets released. I never played the demo. I kind of want to. Keep it all a big secret for when I play it. Play the whole game, if a whole game is indeed being made. And I'll be very excited to play that, and I'll certainly do a genocide run before then. Oh, Little Bird's doing his best, and his best is kind of pokey. Keep at it, pokey bird. Hello, Crazy Onion. 
we can go and see the real stars now. I still don't know what they are. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to wander around too much. Tonight is a school night after all. Always got to be excited for that Thursday work day. Ooh. Of course, we'll be back Friday. We'll do a six gun one and done. Has that mouse got the cheese yet? Oh, he did get some of the cheese out of there. Good for you, mouse. Yeah, we're gonna. Three gold for the fairy. Sure. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. Oh, we were paid to step on his face. Good one. Yeah, we'll be playing a Halloween themed game this week on Friday. Try to beat it in one go. We'll be doing a little Kid Dracula. So if you like your Castlevania, if you like it a little wackier, Tune in Friday, 7 p.m. Central, and we'll be doing it up. Playing as Kid Dracula. Is it Alucard? Is it a different character entirely? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Oh, hey there, dude. And he... You know about the Echo Flowers. We get it. Alright, back to Snowden. A lot of friends waiting for us there. Ah, there's the old cool shed. We wander around in Papyrus's and Sand's house. Oh, never did get a look inside Sans' room. That's that's okay. Got to give a little privacy to folks. Oh, hey there, dogs. Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. I don't know if dog marriage is that normal. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so... Make as much noise as you want. That's kind of a fun way to celebrate. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's junior jumbo. Well, way to go, I guy. Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, no, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? I might get some more clicks. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big THE END on the front and call it a day. I kind of like that. Oh, let's visit the little rock family. Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Oh, the mustache rock. So long, mustache rock. Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new, boundless world. Waha! This adventurous spirit, I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. Ah, oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. What about you? Hey, you're done moving the ice blocks. Good for you, big pooch. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. 
Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. You get down, you get down to it, Ice Wolf. We'll see you again soon, Ferryman. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I don't really have one. I heard Dr. Elf has told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug, and the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. <laughs> You're telling me, bear. I wonder if the whole overworld has hot guys and need drinks. Oh, I'm ready. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. Good job. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whinny of dismay. It finally won a game of poker against itself. Good for you, poker dog. And good for you, Grillbees. Yo, what's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But, yo. Hey, evening, Amanda. Just catching us on the tail end of our Undertale run, and uh, we're having some fun. We're talking to some friendly monsters. I hope you're having a friendly Wednesday. We're a uh, Friends Day, if you will. Just found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> oh, that's all right. As always, we'll be back Friday with a whole nother game. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? That kid over there told me... Oh, yeah, we just saw that. No, never worry about being late to these things, Amanda. They're saved for posterity. You can always put them on in the background when you're drawing or driving or sleeping. Just keep hitting that refresh button. Get those hits up. <laughs> no. There are plenty of these goofy videos. Never worry about missing them. Yeah, that's that's what I usually do with the Let's Play videos. And I mean, typically it's more for the sleep for me, but... I don't know. I'd listen to him at work, but I'm usually too busy with work. Yeah. Oh no. We still don't get to see what's going on on that second floor. Oh well, that's fine. Ah, oh, it's a bunny shop. I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. But guys, I'm the human. Hey, did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. 
They were open from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying there for God knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Well, good luck, bunny shopkeeper. I wish you well. And good luck to everyone in Snowden. Let's wander on back. Maybe we'll head up to the ruins, see what's going on there. Oh, it's the snow puffs. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. What about this? Surprisingly, oh, it's a snow puff. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. What's this called? I think it's a snow puff. Woof. I think it'd be nice to just make a bunch of snow puffs. Why make snowmen when you can make snow puffs and just fill your front yard with them? That'd be kind of nice. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. And we still have this secret locked room over here. It's kind of a developer's room, secret room. Only way you can get into that is by... Well, you'll see once I get to uh, the actual super total end of the game. And I won't be able to do it, so you'll have to look that one up online if so inclined. Oh, and we've got the snow on our head again. That's fine. We're all free? Okay, okay, I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make a perfect snow dog fills you with determination. No one to answer the bell. And no one to challenge us by these puzzles. Heh. <laughs> Guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods uh, there we can live in, right? Hey, you got it, monster. All sorts of woods to hang out in. On the surface world. Nothing good ever happens in the woods. Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? No, oh, not thinking about that hat one bit. Hmm, that spaghetti's still there. Sorry, spaghetti. So long, spaghetti. So long, snowball. I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers like 20 teen. Oh, that's a pretty good number. Let's all count to 20 teen right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, Oh, hello, snowman. Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barrier's opened up. Hmm. And if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. You got it, snowman. We'll take that piece of you to the ends of the earth. Doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. 
Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people... Am I right, folks? No. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Laugh, Jocko. Laugh. Yeah. Hey, let's reel it in, folks. Oh, never mind, guys. Other fish in the sea. So long, lamb. I do have to say, Amanda, if you run into that ridiculous husband of yours at all. Last night he uh, dropped a comment saying, oh, all dressed up for the debate. I was thinking to myself, there's no debate mini quest in Yakuza Zero. So I was wearing a tuxedo and an eye patch for Yakuza Zero last night, folks. Then it uh, occurred to me later in the evening that uh, I was referring to the presidential debates that I didn't even know were happening. Fairly out of it when it comes to such things. I don't really care. And plus, I already have my absentee ballot in the mail, so... They could come out as the second incarnation of the devil, and I may have already voted for them. Uh, good evening, Dio. Yeah, I, I didn't hear too many good things about the debate. That's that's fine. If somebody's entertained or enlightened by it. They can watch that. I, I prefer my scripted entertainment. So long as the government doesn't cut electricity and internet lines, old Johnny will be fine. So long, tree. Ah, oh, the ruins. It's been a while since we've been in the ruins. Yeah, this is only a third part to Undertale. I don't think the first video was about four hours, second three. This one will probably top out around four. So yeah, that's not very long for a role-playing game. And if you watch this entire video, then you might not be entertaining the idea of playing it yourself. But I'd say give it a whirl. I like Undertale. It's nice to play every uh, couple of years. Relaxing shade of green. Did we ever find the fourth frog? Hmm. Oh, good one, Froggit. Now I'm thinking there is a fourth frog in here. That's gonna drive me nuts. That's the. Hey! There is a fourth frog. I don't know there are two. Well, there we have it. Well, it's the old office Frank. Well, prank, rather. Not the office Frank. The office Frank is the fella getting the coffee, maybe. Yeah, you get four rabbits. Yeah, paint numbers on them. One, two, three, five. And, you know, folks find the four rabbits, but they're like, Where's rabbit number four? Guys, there were only four rabbits. There weren't five, but you're looking for the fifth rabbit. You're not going to find it. And, you know, don't, don't release rabbits. 
at your workplace or your school or your home. Leave rabbits outdoors. Don't release animals in public. They don't really care for it. Neither do the people. He'll be fired, expelled, mocked, ridiculed, run out of society. They'll just go badly for you in general. Oh, hello, Froggit. Ribbit Ribbit. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. I thank you, Froggit. Oh, nobody hiding back there this time. Kind of like it. The further back you go, the kind of seems like fewer instruments for the background song. Oh, hi there, dummy. No, oh, he's dummying up. That's fine. Back to where our adventure began. Well, this is where we first met Flowey. What a dick. Hey. Hey, Azrael. Shouldn't be here. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk. Please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebit are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? That's the right deal. You got nothing to do. You just do whatever. I know why Johnny climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Johnny hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. They felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Johnny. In fact, we well, have similar, uh... Oh, mushroom dance. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It means you lived a life of sin. In fact, although you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Johnny wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit? Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. Yeah, we all do weird things when we're flowers. So one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Johnny and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. 
They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I blame myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you? Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So, well, maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. Not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill. Don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see ya. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? 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 Well, we've trekked back. We've spoken with a lot of our friends and enemies that we've met over the course of our journey in Undertale. And all that's left now is to make our way out of the underground back into the human world. And then that'll be all right. Nice little stroll. We can just sort of ruminate over everything that's transpired here. A lot to take in for a youngster, whatever Frisk is. Male, female, teen, tween, somewhere in between. Oh, rhyming tween with between. Subgenius. Let's see if we can talk to this rock. There's one of these rocks we were talking to. A talking rock. Oh, I'm going to have to do this thing again. Ah, nuts. That's going to irritate me minorly. Ah, hamburger sauce. All right, there it is. And this ending theme reminds me quite a bit of the ending from Chrono Trigger. Hey! Roll out. Pumpkin. Ah, oh, so long, talking rock. No, oh, can't push him out. He's he's gonna hang out. He's gonna hold down the fort. Yeah, very Chrono Trigger esque this song. Maybe once I set my PC up for doing live plays, we'll do a Chrono Trigger playthrough at some point. That'll be nice. Oh. 
but we're not going to be doing too many more long plays of RPGs. And this was a short one. They're typically just too long. Too many battles, grinding away, getting experience points. Not terribly engaging viewing. Even less so than these videos already are. And just one more time, I want to say goodbye to the water sausages. Oh, it is a water sausage. Goodbye, water sausages. There's a local park that used to grow water sausages when I was a kid. Nice bike paths around a lake and a boardwalk, a rickety old boardwalk. We'd always make jokes that gangsters, past and present, from the city of mystery and romance, used to dump bodies in that lake. Wouldn't shock me. But it probably wasn't, so... That's... that's fine. There were plenty of water sausages, though. Come on, Frisk, speed it up. We've all got places to be. I really don't. I don't know if anyone has anywhere to be anymore. Oh, that's not the... Not the exit I was looking for. So long, snow monsters. Be well. Be cold. We'll just slide across the ice. That's the snowman up there. So long, snowman. So long, snowball. So long, snowball two. Oh, it's a snow decahedron. So long, snow decahedron. So long, note. So long, frozen spaghetti. So long, hat guy. Goodbye, puzzle. Adios, muchacho, and adieu to another puzzle. We'll miss you dearly. Oh, so long, electrical puzzle. And the snow dog. Looks more like a snow hot dog. Goodbye, old man. Oh. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear pierce piercing. Wait. No, he doesn't need the snow piercing. Oh, don't go diagonal. I don't think it matters. We'll pop out with the snow on our head. Oh, bird snow. That's fun. So long, snow puffs. Nice to see ya. So long, rickety bridge. Might be a nice bridge for a confidence course. That's a fancy name for an obstacle course. That's what they call it in the military. Build your confidence. Let me tell you, when I was up on the rappelling tower, my confidence was low. But my faith in a rope. Ooh, no thank you. I did it. I rappelled down the damn tower. But, be goddamned if I cared for it, I did not. I'm not too keen on heights. 
people were meant to be up in the air, climbing on stuff, flying around. And we'd have wings and springs for feet. No, I'm fine on the ground. That's that's where I like to be. I like to be in hot land. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Unlikely. So long. My friend. Select a location. Right floor three. So long, little hot guy. We'll see you around, folks. Oh, I don't think I ever even uh, visited this fellow last time. Whoopsie daisy. Let's see what he's see what he's pitching. Could have got all of these lovely foods. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Alright, we'll buy a Starfay. Oh, I'm out of money, probably because I put that. Have a sparkular day! Oh, very Ren and Stimpy looking illustration there, very nice. Yeah, spent all my money sending that Temmie to college. What was I thinking? I think we should go up. And we're nearing the end. We've had our fun. hot in here. I've been wearing my papyrus scarf tonight. I don't really have any Undertale outfit to wear, so I wore my red scarf, just like my skeleton pale papyrus. Why not? Saved. No reason to save. No reason not to save. Did I just go? I'm just kind of cruising on autopilot. I don't want to go down there again. We've been down there. Nothing positive down there. And here's all of our friends. One more time. Frisk, do not feel left out. I've been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time, do you not? Let's check it out. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please, look at this. <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. Well, that's okay. Sorry, well, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working. I know, and it's taken all my concentration. It seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be a friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of them. Hey, that's true. Hey, Alphys, Alphys. 
I think we can watch something with fighting next. Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? Uh, I'll see if I can manage to find any like that on Dine. Yay! Whoops. Oh, we already said hi to Naps to Blue. Psst, Frisk. Um, you've got to tell me. Do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever going to get back together? No, probably not. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fan fiction? A lot of fan fiction? Frisk, I just realized... Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, yes I would. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy you said yes. As soon as I can. I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Indeed. Indeed, all. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sands! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? We should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Sure, why not? Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh, Papyrus. Whoop. Somebody's got to keep them from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up. Oops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? And let's stay. Let's let's make it the perfect happy ending. What? Frisk? You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose you really do not have any other place to go. 
I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Why not stay with our friendly monster pals? We'll all go above ground and we'll hang out with humans, but we'll, we'll stay best of friends. got all of our friends. Froggit, Wimson, Moldsmol, Lukes, or Lugs. Ah, oh, Papyrus. Good old Sands. Those Skeleton Brothers. They're the best. I think every enemy description that is in yellow is in enemy that we spared properly instead of fleeing. So there are some that I might have just fleed from earlier on, but most of them should be yellow. I don't even think I battled the lesser dog. Undyne and Alphys are just hanging out, having a romantic day at the beach. That's a lot of damage. Oh, Aaron, still flexing. Washua. So long, Temmie. Boy! Oh, there we go. We got Metaton, Shiren, and Naps to Bluk having a nice concert. Everybody's enjoying it. Howdy, Sands. Tuning in just for the credits here of our pacifist run. I hope you're having a fine evening tonight. Or day, depending on where you're at. And the Royal Guards, enjoying each other's company. The final Froggett, we mystified him. Night night. Taking a nap. Oh, it's the amalgam, it's the horribly mutated corpses of monsters. Meshed together. Oh, Asgore. Ah, oh, the monster kid. I like how the monster kid trips. That's very well animated. You go to school, monster kid. You get wise. The end after. Oh, 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 is it though? Azrael. <laughs> oh, no Delta Ruin quite yet. Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. 
Yeah, I'll be excited to see if uh, Deltarune's gonna get an honest-to-goodness full release, or if it's just a gag, or what's going on? That Toby Fox, kind of a rascal. Alright, we're dodging the credits well enough for now. If we can dodge them all. Oh, and we do we botched it, now we don't have to worry. Yeah, folks, take a look at that word, though. Deltarune. Mix those up. It's an anagram for Undertale. More, more fun wordplay. A lot of wordplay in this game. Yeah, imagine everything you could do with infinite hit points. You can walk right off of a building. I don't know if... Infinite hit points would mean that uh, you wouldn't break your legs. Not sure how that works. I don't know how hit points really apply in the real world. Now, I've seen uh, I've seen runs of people actually dodging all of these credits. It's pretty astounding. I wouldn't ever care to try. I'd need more than infinite hit points. I'd need. Infinite life. Life isn't isn't long enough to master something like dodging credits. But, you know, it's good to have goals. I recently watched a video documenting a dude who got Cloud Strife, the main protagonist of Final Fantasy VII. Up to level 99 in the first stage of the game. Takes about 400 hours to do that. Just grinding on the same enemies over and over. That's, you know, that's an accomplishment. You know, it's not a cure for cancer. It's not helping the poor, but it's a pretty impressive accomplishment. So whatever your goals in life are, folks, they don't have to be that big. Just keep going for it. Maybe you'll get a slice of butterscotch snail pie. Ooh, floor pie. And there it is, folks, I think. Oh, that Toriel. The end? For real now? This thing has more false endings than uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King, am I right? You guys remember that one? It was like 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah, we got some music kicking in the background, but yeah, that's, that's it, folks. Three parts. One, two... Three parts, that's all of Undertale, Pacifist Run. And we're going to call it an evening. Thank you for everybody who tuned in tonight. And to everybody tuning in down the line. Always appreciate it. Oh, well, good thing we waited. We got a silly dog walking across the screen. Good to walk the dog. Yeah, as always, you can uh, sign up for the group TC Game Club, the Twin Cities Game Club on Facebook, or subscribe on YouTube. You'll see what our play schedules are. Next game we play will be this Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to be playing Kid Dracula. Fun little Castlevania spinoff. Very cutesy. Still a little spooky. We're going to try to beat that in one go. It's dog in and hello dog. So, for now, this is your pal Johnny Six Gun signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you right around the bend. Ta ta.